Help is readily available while you're working at the router console. As you type commands, using the online help feature instantly gives you more information so you don't have to check the manual or rely on your memory for composing commands. The most basic level of online help simply points out where you have added invalid input to a command. For example, we'll type the show command, then use an argument we know is wrong. The error message that appears points out where we entered the invalid argument. This feature helps you debug commands, especially when you use it in conjunction with the command history. The router also includes a comprehensive command line help feature. It's context sensitive, so the information you see depends on what you're doing and on what mode you're in. Cisco bases this on the type of prompt and the words or partial words you type. The trick to using the help program is that you don't type the word help. That command simply gives you a message about the help feature. You actually invoke the help feature by typing a question mark, either alone or in combination with commands or partial commands. For example, you type a question mark at the prompt to see a list of the commands available in the current mode. Each command appears with a basic description. When the command list is longer than can be displayed on the screen, you will see the notation more at the bottom of the screen. You can press enter to scroll the list one command at a time or press the spacebar to display the next full screen of commands. Pressing any other key cancels help. The list of commands changes to fit the mode you're in. For example, the list of commands for global configuration mode is different than the one for user or privileged modes. You can also use the help feature to search for specific commands in the list. For example, we know that there's a command that lets the router display an error message when it cannot establish a connection to a host. We know that the command begins with a B, but we need to know the correct command name. To list valid commands that begin with B, simply type B with a question mark after it. The results list displays all the commands that begin with B, including the one we're looking for, busy message. You can use help not only to identify which commands begin with certain letters, but also to see a list of commands and command parameters. For example, suppose I wanted to switch to interface configuration mode for the first serial interface. I remember that the interface command switches me between modes, but I can't remember the rest of the parameters. To view acceptable parameters for a command string, type the command, followed by a space, followed by the question mark. The resulting list shows me the possible parameters and a short description. I recognize serial as the parameter I want, type that, then follow it with another question mark, separating it with a space. Now there is only one possible option. The 0, 1 in brackets indicates that I must supply a number ranging from 0 to 1. Notice that until now, I typed keywords for parameters. Now I need to supply a value before continuing. After typing 0 for the first serial interface, I again access help to see the parameters that are required next. The CR indicates that I can press return at this time and the command will have all required parameters. Let me show you a few other symbols you might see when working with command help. In this example, the help for the description command indicates one option, line. Notice that line is at the top in all capital letters. The capital letters indicate that line is not a keyword, but rather freeform text that I enter. A line contains multiple words separated by spaces. Word, again all in capitals, indicates a freeform word without spaces. Contrast this with the output from the clock command. Here, I must type the rate keyword next. Because it is not capitalized, I must type the keyword or a valid shortened form. Notice the help for the IP address command. It shows a.b.c.d as one of the expected values. This indicates that the value is an IP address. For this command, I can either supply an IP address or use the negotiated keyword next. Look at the help for the IPX network command. The expected parameter is a value I type that is between 1 and FFFFFFD. The letters in the value range indicate that I must supply a hexadecimal number. Again, any time I see CR in the list of parameter options, such as is shown here, I can either select another parameter from the list or press return to end and execute the command. The help system is also very useful for quickly finding basic information about commands. 
You'll need to be familiar with the help system for the exam, and it will also be very useful as you actually configure and monitor your router.